sit by the court reporter over there. And then, uh, right here? Yes, please. Do you have any ID? Mm -hmm. Thank you. one so that we know what questions have been asked and what haven't. Okay. Uh, I'm ready whenever everybody else is. Okay, will you raise your right hand and solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth and the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Hi, good morning again. Good morning. Please state and spell your name for the record again. Sharon Hayes, S-H-A-R-O-N-H-A-Y-E-S. And we had a first deposition already, is this correct? Yes. The second deposition? Yes. Um, so you've stated that you were a Walmart employee on uh, July 1st, 2020. Has anyone contacted you since we last spoke? As far as this case? Yes. No. Did the mother say anything to you about her daughter? Can dry it What do you mean as far as saying it? She never told me that it was her daughter. She just said a girl. Oh. She didn't specify. I didn't know when I first went over there. I did not know it was her daughter. I didn't know that until after the fact. And when did you become aware of that? I don't know exactly when. I just, I was after we were already up in the front of the store and she was up front with the other ladies that she was with and i don't even remember who said it was her daughter but somebody had mentioned her daughter that's the only reason i knew it was her daughter but she personally never said her daughter to me and how many police officers do you speak to I remember speaking to, I guess she was a detective, a female, uh -huh. and I don't believe I spoke to anybody else but her. And that was the statement that we had? Yes, that's who took the statement. And let me say something before, when I was on my way home from the last deposition, I did remember, I did see that video. I don't remember if it was with the investigator or if it was with Jason, but I do remember, I thought about it and I do remember seeing that video. Uh, what video are you referring that, to? The one that you said that you wanted me to watch the last time we were here? Because I had, I'm pretty sure I had said I did not see that video, but when I was driving home I was thinking about it and yes, I did. But I don't remember who I seen it with. And at any time did you make contact with the defendant at the, on the scene? No, I did not. I was behind when I went down the bread aisle. I was standing behind the defendant. So? At an angle. I mean, not directly. I was, I was like here, and the girl was here, and the defendant was there. So you did not ask the defendant to go to loss prevention? No, I did not.
So, Officer Rogers being interviewed is Sharon Hayes. Ms. Hayes, can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm to the truth? Tell the truth, about the truth, so help you God. Is this a tape interview of the... With the female the investigator? Yes, ma'am. Yes. This is a fair and accurate description of the interview that you gave to her that day? Mm hmm From what I heard, yes. And we would move to answer this into evidence. Are you referring to the transcript or the actual recording? We've already did the transcript. It's a deposition. I, we can't admit an audio piece of evidence into a transcript deposition. You can, if you want to admit a copy of the transcript, that's fine. An audio recording can't be attached to a transcript. Do you recognize this video? The video that I saw, I was on the bread aisle. Yes. Here's the bread aisle. Do you recognize this is the bread aisle? Yes, that's the bread. Do you recognize this is the defendant? Say it would, I would just start over. This is the defendant. I, I really can't see anything from right there. I mean, I'm sorry, what are you I'm, I'm recording in your hand? I'm recording the video. You're allowed to record the witness for deposition purposes. I don't want you making any other recordings today. <laughs> the video that I saw, I was. It, this end, I mean, it was like switched around because it wasn't that far away when I, the video that I looked at. So you saw a different video? If I'm not mistaken, the video, I was at this end of the end, the bread aisle, at the meat department, the back side of the meat department. That to me looks like it's on the front side of the grocery aisle. The other video would have a better view, you would think. Is that what you're saying? The, the other camera on the other side? I'm saying that I, the video I saw, I thought that it was from the meat department side. Mm. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what I think it was because I don't remember seeing anything because I would not be able to see anything that far away. I can't tell who's at the end of that. Is there another video that we haven't obtained? I provided you copies of all the videos I have. So, it sounds like... I mean, unless they zoomed in on it when I saw it, but it just, to me, I don't remember seeing anything that looked that far away. Because, like I said, I can't see anything from that far. I mean, I can't say anything about who's there. That's the only video you have? It's the only video of the bed aisle. Is that the only video you have? That's not the only video I gave you. 
Well, we can play all the videos, sir, but there's only one video of the Red Isle. There's another video that has me walking by the camera um, in a different section. I'm saying, she's saying she saw other videos. I provided you other videos, let, let, and you're acting like this is the only video you have. Oh, yeah. Well, if you'd like to, I can go ahead and show her all the video. Um, is this what you saw? The video I saw was the bread aisle. showing her the two videos you provided of the surveillance, sir. Those are it. Um, I was trying to find where she was walking. It's just not seeing it at the moment. Do you recognize that as a defendant? Like I said, I, I can't, personally myself, I can't tell who that is. I mean, I can't say that, that who that is because I can't see myself to be able to tell who that is. Because this is the end that Jason came from. Mm -hmm. When Jason went down the aisle, Jason came from this end to the aisle because I was on the other end of the aisle. I was standing. C can you move that up a little closer and I'll show you where I was standing at? I was like, Right here, as you come around the aisle, I was close to the end right there, was where I personally was standing. As far as I remember, it was down on that end. But I can't tell anything by looking at that. And this end is where Jason came up, this end. Do you recognize this is to the final? recognize that as yourself um, if you give it a moment I said if, if, if that that comes further down this way I can look at it perhaps yeah. yes I recognize that is that you yes that's you that is me so this is you right here that's you coming around the curve. This is the defendant? Yes. So, I'm sorry, the defendant. And this is you. And that it looks like me with my hair pulled back. So do you recognize this as the scene? I don't of remember the that. I I'm, I don't exactly, you know, recollect that part of it, but I mean it's right there on the video, so yes, it had to have happened, but I don't remember that. Well, would it be fair and accurate to say that this is a video of the scene that we are here today? Yes. I, I mean, it's on the video, so yes, it would have to be. Now, could you please um, point out the, the girl that uh, you believe the defendant was recording? I saw the back of the little girl. I didn't. I, I saw the back of the little girl when I was at the end of the bread aisle. What she look like? She was an African American girl. Right I mean, there. I don't see anybody right there. So, if you follow the defendant, um, he's walking this way. Correct. You see that? Let me try to guide you. Is this the defendant you see coming in? I, 
I, like I said, when it gets way up there, I mean, if you start back here, I can see and say yes. Start at the beginning? No, I mean, if you pull it to where you're, oh, yeah. the defendant is at the end of the aisle. Sure. Because I can't see nothing that far back. It would, do you think that this is the original surveillance? I, I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know. Do you um, see the Okay, that's defendant. the defendant right there. Do you see what he's wearing? A, a head covering with a gray shirt and tan okay. shorts. So if we go to the beginning, can you see the defendant? Yes, right there. That's the same person? Yes. If you would please just follow the person and then maybe describe the girl that you say is an African American. Like I said, I can't describe anybody. I, I can't hardly see but who. Ma'am, if you, you know, wait a moment, the people may move closer to the camera. Um, I but what I'm saying is, I I did not see this girl face on. As far as I remember, what I saw, I was standing here, and the girl and the defendant were here. Right with in this their position. Back. There's only one video so I'm asking well, you when um, when were you what you that the point you're referring to now could you please tell me when that is the defendant remains in this area here right there the defendant was stooped down when stooped, I came around the corner down. correct you the defendant that. was stooped down so you just saw that yes I did see you stoop down I'm and I'm sorry, the defendant stooped down. And hey, I'm sorry. Try not to talk over one another. I'm right? sure okay. you're making it difficult. I'm sorry. For and if you could please identify this young girl that the defendant was allegedly recording, either she's there or not. Okay. This is not a video that I saw. I did not see this video. The video that I saw and what I remember seeing myself, I came from this end of the aisle. Not this end, I came from this end. I came right around the corner and I stood there at the corner. The defendant was bent down and the girl was standing here with her back to me. I did not see the girl's face. I don't remember what the girl had on. Is, is I just the girl I right don't there? I, I don't remember what she, the girl had on. She had on a dress. Let her finish the question so that you guys are not speaking over one another. The girl had on a dress. Right. I'm all, I'm just, yes ma'am. Could you please point the girl out to me? I, I can't point somebody out that I don't I do, you know, all I saw was watch the back. The whole thing and try to do your best because this is the only video we have. Apparently, we don't have the video you saw, and I'm just asking you if you could please point out. I, the I think girl. You've, you've asked her multiple times, and she's given you the answer that she is unable to do what you ask. Well, would you like to try? I, I can't point out the girl because I only saw the back of the girl. I'm not going, I, I did not see the girl's face. I saw the girl at the other end of the aisle. I did not see her in a long distance from it there. I cannot point out something that I'm not 100% sure. I'm showing you an interview done with Kondraya Hill, which is the mother of the alleged victim, taken on the day uh, that you um, also gave the interview to the okay. detective. Would you please read this and tell me if this is about what you saw? I'm going to object to that. You're showing her an interview made by someone else. She can't verify that information. I'm just asking her, sir, if she can s say but, if this is what she saw. But there's no way she can answer that. That's speculative. She has no idea what Ms. Hill is talking about. Well, Ms. Hill says that she had gray leggings on. Is that correct? I don't remember. Well, you just said that. I, I said I thought she had she had a dress on. 
So you're saying this You can have a dress on and have leggings on. I mean, a lot of people wear dresses with leggings. Was that what she had? That's what I thought she had on. From what I remember, that's what I thought she had on. Well, um, if, if I may, ma'am, um, there's actually a girl in here with leggings. She's right there. And it's actually the same girl that's standing next to the defendant right there. So would it be fair to say that Kendriah Hill's referring to the girl I can't, here? I can't say what she's referring to because I don't know what she is referring to. All I can say is what I can remember. Did anyone ask you to say something? Nobody has asked me to say anything. Well, ma'am, in your first interview, you make no mention of an African-American girl in a dress. The day uh, you talked to the detective, is this something that you decided you saw later on? No, I haven't decided anything. I'm saying from what I remember, that's what I thought. That's what I remember. Why did you not remember that that day? I, I don't know, sir. I, I don't know. I mean... Because you've read this, I've played some of the taped interview. Detective Von Bresser, Haines City Police Department, July 1st, 2023, 12 p.m. in regards to Haines City Case 2021-46. Interviews being taken at Walmart. Presence of myself, Officer Rogers, being interviewed is Sharon Hayes. Do you want to show her a portion of the interview so that she can I answer your question? I'd like to just read it. Um, You're going to read it into the record? Yes. I thought, we, I thought you were going to attach that as an exhibit. Well, right now, I'm just reading this, sir, just, just so we can have... It's going to be a waste of time to read the entire thing into the record. You can allow her to read a copy and then she can answer your question. Would you please read what you said here? And I'm sorry, what page of the interview is that? It's three of six. Thank you. Just so the record is clear. One answer that you want her to read? Yeah, I would just like to read this part. I, you want it, what I said? Yes, ma'am. I just stood behind him um, and I called Jason on the radio to come to the bread aisle because I didn't want to say anything to him when I was there by myself. And then I, he stayed down, squatted, and I stood there waiting for Jason. And he kind of, I guess, he felt me behind him, so he kind of slowly started getting up and walked down the aisle. Is there any other statement that describes that scene? No, that's what I did. And then Jason, I called Jason, and I remember Jason coming from the front grocery action alley, and he came up the alley, the thing, um, for grocery. Because I never approached the defendant. I stood behind and watched. Jason is the one that followed the defendant. Yes. And this was after the mother can drive hill coming coming got you. Yes. She I was working in online grocery. I was shopping to get stuff for people's orders and she stopped me. And once again, I just asked why, if you saw the defendant film underneath the girl's dress, you wouldn't mention that during that first.
first thing. I said on here, the next one, I said he was squatted down in front of the uh, bread and it looked to be something in his left hand that he was holding in his hand with palm up is what I said right there. And did you say anything about the girl, any girl? Not if it's in here, I didn't. I mean, I said he was looking to the left. He wasn't looking at the bread. And did the detective ask you to describe any, any girl? I can't remember. I mean, I, I don't remember that far back exactly what the detective asked me. I mean, it, if they asked me, it would be in there. Now, because she taped everything that was being said in the interview. She, I was being on tape. Reference to Kendraya Hill. Is that referring to a statement made by Ms. Hayes? No. Ms. Hayes uh, never made a statement saying that she saw anything. Then I don't understand how this question is relevant. You're asking for some sort of speculative answer that somebody else gave. So well, I'm, I'm asking as a Walmart employee if somebody observed somebody filming up somebody's dress. Do you think it would be appropriate to identify the, the victim? You mean as far as me identifying the victim? I mean a detective, anybody. I mean. Well, if, I can't if, answer for a detective. If, if somebody says, hey, we saw Joe film up a little girl's dress, do you think it, it might be useful for the detective to identify who that little girl may be? Well, like I said, I can't answer that as far as what a detective should or shouldn't do. All I can say is what I personally know what I did. I mean, what I can remember that I did that day. And I've said what I can remember that what I did that day. And do you have any idea how we could get the surveillance that you saw? I don't know. I mean, the only thing that Walmart should have had, the surveillance tape. And do you think that the surveillance that we're looking at is a lower pixel count than the original surveillance? I can't answer that because I don't know anything about pixel count. I don't know um, anything as far as the operations of Walmart's videos or what their pixel counts are. And you mentioned this fellow, Jason. Is this an employee at, at Walmart? Jason is a co was a co-manager at Walmart. Could you um, provide me with his last name? Woodard, I think. Was there anyone else there that day? Woodard, something like that. I'm sorry. Did you say Woodard? I think I, I think it's Woodard. I was going to look to see if I had it in my phone, but I think his last name is Woodard. He's not at the Haines City store anymore. Oh, he's not. No, he's not at the Haines City store anymore. I don't know if they can tell you where he is, but I know he's not at the Haines City store anymore because he left there the same day that I quit Walmart. Oh, uh, right. And went to another store. Oh. And was there anyone else there, um, as far as employees, that may be the witness? I, I don't remember. I, I know Jason was. Because Jason was the person that I called on the radio. 
because he is my co-man, he was my co-manager, so he's who I called. And we talked about this at the last time. Yes, I recall that. statement with the officer Rogers that day? I made a statement with the one female detective. And She's no the only else? one that I recall making a statement with is the detective because we were sitting in the office in the LP office in the front of Walmart in the front of the store when we um, made this I made the statement with the detective. Did you talk to any other police that day? I really don't recall if I did or not. I do recall speaking with her, though, being, being uh, taped. Is this the one that approached you? I can't say yes or no because I, that's been so long ago. I don't remember her face. That was Jason that was standing right there in that video. But like I said, I can't 100% say for sure because I, I really don't remember what the woman's face looked like. That's Jason right there. Did you speak to this police officer? I don't remember speaking to him as far as anything that happened. Um, like I said, I remember speaking to the detective and giving her a statement, but I don't remember any other statements that I gave to anybody. All right. For the record, we're showing the um, <clears throat> video uh, labeled victim, which shows uh, the mother can drive hill. Like I said, I mean, I, it, it was quick. I didn't, you know, concentrate on her face or anything like that, so I would not be able to 100% say that, that, yes, that is who I saw. So would it be fair to say that you just don't recall exactly all the details? Well, not as far as her. I mean, you know, because I, I, I told you and I told the detective exactly what I remember and what I witnessed that day when you first talked to the detective when i spoke to the detective yes you told her exactly what you had witnessed that day mm -hmm. and that was the that was in that report. report yeah well i have no more questions i have no questions ma'am um did we talk about reader wave last